after watching uh, on the news the devastation brought about by Typhoon Odette, I was very touched with the, uh, you know, the sufferings and the uh, the uh, that the victims uh, suffered. And um, although I did donate uh, money to Caritas Manila, but I felt that it was not sufficient. Because uh, Typhoon Odette was not, did not only hit one particular city, like what happened to Tacloban before, but it has uh, hit a number of uh, provinces, namely uh, Bohol, Cebu, uh, Palawan, even as far as the Nagat Islands. So I felt that I could do more, despite of the fact that already donated to Caritas Manila. So. Fortunately, I had a meeting with Rene Salud, uh, with Shello Obukada, and I did mention that uh, I wanted to do more for the victims of Typhoon Odette. And uh, I was telling them, probably we can do something, you know, by collaborating among the three of us. Uh, of course, Rene, we're going to use your design and your gowns, and I'll be the producer, and uh, we'll do it uh, at Okada uh, with Shello. And uh, by the grace of the Lord, uh, we did decide uh, to collaborate, and that is how it all began. My uh, motivation was really the desire to help. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, with the collaboration with Rene Salud and Shello, I honestly felt that we could, our help could go a long way. So um, in our own little way, we would be able to help the, the victims of uh, Typhoon Odette because as I uh, mentioned earlier, a lot of people suffered uh, due to the typhoon not only the ones from Bohol but the ones from Cebu also from Palawan as well as the Nagat Islands the beneficiary of the show will go through uh, a fellow member of the board of Philippine Travel Agencies Association, Roche Casenas. She also owns a travel agency in Bohol. It's to her because at least I've known her through the years and her heart is also very close to helping the less fortunate. In fact, when Typhoon Odette uh, occurred, she was also hit herself, her family, and her travel agency. But despite of that, she went out of her way to distribute water, blankets, and, uh, and other necessities. So I am forcing all the donation through Roche Casenas because I believe through her she would be able to help uh, the typhoon victims of Bohol, especially in Panglao and especially those in the uh, Lubok water tours. Yes, I have always uh, a desire to help. That's why I'm not only very active with the Philippine Travel Agencies Association, I'm also a Rotarian. I belong to the Rotary Club of Makati Legazpi uh, and also a Sonsian. I'm a member of the Santa Club of Fort Bonifacio. <clears throat> These two clubs are both civic organizations. Uh, the objective is really to help the less fortunate. So I have uh, sponsored a number of scholars and I have also helped in terms of uh, donating funds for the disaster management program and uh, also different projects that Rotary and Sonta are involved.
Renee Salud's fashion. I have known Renee Salud since 1979. And I would say Renee's design is very unique, very authentic, and very reflective of his uh, desire to help and support the Filipino design and the textile industry of the Philippines. Through the years, he has evolved. And uh, I would say, especially his bridal gowns, uh, he's very well known for that. In fact, I have a number of my friends who have uh, bridal de gowns designed by him. And he is very uh, considerate. When he talks to the bride to brides-to-be, he would ask them, what is your budget? He would not say, okay, you cannot afford me, you know, yung matare effect. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do it for you. He's very compassionate. He would ask the bride, what is your budget? And he would adjust accordingly, which I feel is very good. He's not materialistic. His desire to help is there. Um, so, Rene uh, has, I cannot remember how many weddings he has gone so far. And he has done a number of designs for my friends, for my staff. And uh, all of them are very happy and um, I hope he will continue designing for the next 10 years, 20 years. God knows, only by God's will.